Morning amigos, Dr. Doug here at GoBodyTrust.com. It's going to rain today in LA, yay. Oh, I found an interesting article here in Science News, Science Daily, from John Hopkins Medicine. Calorie restriction prevents asthma symptoms linked to inflammation. Calorie restriction, that's what they call fasting, or eating less food, right? Sounds horrible, doesn't it? Calorie restriction. Okay. Let me read this. Experimenting with mice, sorry for those mice, researchers report that a low-calorie diet prevented asthma symptoms regardless of the diet's fat and sugar content. That's important. Because right next to it, here is an ad that says, Best foods for asthma. Try these foods to manage your asthma symptoms. A direct contradiction. Be very wary of um, any ads for food as medicine. It's, it's some kind of angle, some kind of hype. Anyway, the researchers also say they found that obesity resulting from high calorie diet led to asthma symptoms in the animals by causing lung inflammation. So what's going on here? Well, Eating too much food, regardless of the content, eating too much food that your body cannot handle means that you have a reservoir of half-processed, partially processed food sitting around in your gut. And like a swamp, it generates heat and nastiness. That becomes what we call toxic heat in Chinese medicine. That can affect all areas of the body, but typically heat loves to rise, does it not? Heat rises, that's yang, yang rises, and that yang, that toxic heat, comes up into the lungs on some people and causes the bronchioles to swell because heat causes swelling, right? Heat swells, so as those bronchioles swell, it gets hard to breathe, and that's the connection. That's the explanation. See, that's the beauty of Chinese medicine, is that it connects everything, so it explains everything. So to prevent asthma and even to treat asthma, I recommend fasting, which I do every day. I'm talking about regular fasting, not twice a year juice fast or something. Eat less food. Fewer meals, smaller portions. Right? Clean out that toxic sludge in the gut for most situations of asthma. In fact, for most inflammatory conditions, which are at record levels in this world of ours, this modern world. That's my advice. Also, another piece of advice, check out my newsletter, my monthly newsletter on my website. Uh, it comes out tomorrow on the first of every month. Uh, it's got some interesting articles in there, uh, articles that you that I don't generally uh, address in my uh, daily show, my morning show. You can find it at GoBodyTrust.com slash newsletter. So that's all for now, amigos. I'll see you on Monday.